excerpts. I'm going to go right from the top of my head and my heart. I'm a cancer patient from six years ago. I found my breast cancer February 27th in 2011 in my shower. I said, okay, what are you going to do? I got out of the shower and looked in the mirror and I said, okay, Pat, you're going to get rid of it. Bam. Okay, I'm going to get rid of it. Yeah. Because I've gotten through a lot worse. I have a daughter who has HIV and has been fighting it for 25 years. And I'm going to get rid of it. I have taken home so many overdosed kids across to the other side because of the fact that somebody gave them an opiate. They didn't start off with heroin. My daughter didn't start off with heroin. She started off with somebody giving her something that she didn't know a goddamn thing about. And that's where I came in. I found her, I touched her toes, she jumped. I said, what's going on? I handcuffed her to my car. I took an ounce of pot. I took it to the woods. Two weeks, her, I, a Doberman, and $70 worth of groceries. Two weeks later, we came out. She wasn't addicted, she wasn't high, and she's still alive today. When she's 51, she's a caregiver, and she loves her life because I stopped it. Opiates in this state have been running rampant since 1970, and if you people don't wake up to that fact that that's why everybody has a problem, it's because of the manufacturers. Do you think those people know what the hell they're doing? I'm a cook. I'm not out of the economy from cabbage. Do you? Do I know how to manufacture an opiate? Hell no. But they do. Oh, throw that compound, that compound, that compound. Mix it all up. Who cares what they give out? Right? We don't care. We don't know what you're going to do. You're asking for a painkiller. No, oh, you need pain kill? Sure, I'll give you 59 of them because you don't really need 60. So I'm going to get you hooked up on this drug that I can make you die anytime I want. But you're going to say to a plant that's green, no, you can't have it because it's going to kill you. Hell no, it doesn't kill. Opiates kill every day. We lose six people in this state every day between the opiates. Go to Mass, go to Boston Medical. Go we'll by the, uh, the mall. You'll see 400 kids coming out of there, drugged up on methadone, the next best thing to heroin, as they're concerned. They fall in the streets. I'd be the first one to stop and pick one of them up off the street, would any of you? I'm that kind of a woman. I love my life, I love my campus, and I don't want you to take medical marijuana and recreational and put it together. It's not a clapping scene. Please do not put the two of them together. Medicine is medicine. If I was going to my doctors and I said to them, all 14 women doctors, when I found out they came from Vermont to Boston, and I said, ladies, I am not taking opiates. I'm going to smoke clean organic pot. And thank God, being a drug counselor, I was in Vermont, and I got a guy who only grew for 25 years for breast cancer women. And I got him on my side. So for three years, I traveled from Vermont to National Grassroots in Quincy. I learned how to grow. I learned a lot of things. I'm an, I'm an honorary graduate from National Grassroots. We have two schools in this state. Maybe some of you people should take some courses. <coughs> with your life. <laughs> and I will say, I'm serious. I mean, you can't educate yourselves because you don't know. I can't do your job. You can't do mine. But I'm here to say, please, do not mix the two. They're not compatible. They're not married. They're not product. They're not a good thing. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you. I have to go to the right now. Yeah, KP. Since 2008, the gay rights, OK? And when I came out in 70, I knew what I was fighting for. My rights, as I sat there right now. My rights are to have my medicine. And everybody else in this room who needs their medicine, please don't take it away. Yeah. Yeah. I love you all, kids. <laughs> love you, kids. And this one is for all of you. Woo. Yeah. Okay. Bye, kids. I got to go to Vermont. See you in uh, a couple of days. Bye, KP. Drive safe. And this is my kid.